Okay, I get it. Explosive bad. Alright, X80 Proto. This is how you're gonna do it completely perfectly. The NPCs are gonna come after you, but you know what? We've got a minigun and we've got tactics on our side. And you know, most importantly of all, we've got a buzzard attack helicopter. One of the most powerful helicopters in this game. Okay, maybe not one of the most powerful, but you know, you can't insta spawn a uh, savage, so we'll have to deal with it. Okay, I'm sure you're wondering why am I choosing ugly ass colors for the car. Okay, my trick is that I choose the brightest shit I can find. So when it's out there and I'm bombing the place with my buzzard, I don't destroy it. It's really easy to spot this way. And yeah, yeah, it's a problem. You will destroy it. Trust me. Trust me. You know, it happens all the time. NPCs spawn on you, try to park the car as fast as possible to avoid damage. But those motherfuckers just love spawning on you. You end up putting it by the side of the road, but those NPCs just love to gather around it. So be careful. You don't want this to happen. What was that, a stray rocket? Oh shit, right there, yeah. God. Poor thing, 20,000 down the drain. So instead of all that bullshit, a better way to do it is to get the warehouse that I own and the main road that takes you out of here goes past the field and if you park your car in that field, usually the, the enemy NPCs won't get too near to you because okay. they're quite far away from the road and you can happily bomb them all when you get into your buzzard helicopter of course. Uh, I like to equip the minigun straight away, you don't want to be fumbling trying to equip shit while you're getting out of your car trying to engage NPCs which have auto aim don't forget about that yes the air power comes from auto aim and you know I don't know how they just aim straight for your head the whole time at least have some mercy and get you in the chest right no I'll just show you where my warehouse is I've got this one over here it was 2.5 million it's pretty much the closest to the maze bank so I'd go with that if I was you and it's got a field Actually pretty reasonable price. The other one on the top right is 2.8 million and arguably not that close and it's the accessibility is in question over there. How would we even get in there? But it's pretty straightforward over here, 2.5 million and field. You'll reach here because this is pretty much the main exit to everywhere from your warehouse and once you get here they spawn straight away pretty much. So gun them down with a minigun. You can see there, they love eating up your health, even from a mile away. Straight away you want to spawn out your buzzard because minigun ammo is expensive. So I'd rather just keep using my buzzard. Oh fuck. Yeah, sometimes it's a challenge just to get to your chopper. They spawn back really fast. A good trick is to shoot them with a normal gun so that they don't fully die and then finish them off once you're really close to the buzzer. Oh come on, how can they even see me? Where are you? God damn it. If I die, again... You know, if I had a flare scope right now, and just night vision this motherfucker. Hiding behind bushes, seeing through everything. Now suck on your auto aim. Come on, no, 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 god damn it! Fucking NPCs always find a way. That is pretty common actually. The second you're low on health, the cars just get a target lock on on you. Anyways, there are about four waves of enemies. Sometimes three, but that could be for steel missions. Uh, anyway, it's pretty easy to determine how many waves are coming. They come every 10 seconds, so. If you're already in your buzzard, in your kuruma, whatever you're camping out in, just, you know, if they don't come in 10 seconds, you know, the waves are over. As for enemy players, read the lobby. You know, this guy with the Hydra flying around up there. Most likely not very friendly. So yeah, try to do it in the smallest room you can find. This should be way easier when it's not snowing. I've crashed way too many and spun out just because of the snow. 
And it's not even double cash now with New Year's. Like, at least in Christmas it was double cash and the snow was fucking up your driving. Oh, shit. Alright, looks like we're almost here. Pretty much the only way to fuck it up is to blow up your own car. Or be in it for too long and then they'll just riddle you with bullets. And your bank account will suffer. So clearing the waves is definitely a better tactic. You could use a cargo bob, but if you've heard any of the stories, they disconnect whenever they please. And they're slow as hell. The whole point of this update is to drive around fun sports cars. Let's not ruin it with a cargo bob. We already had freaking okay, boring ass trucks for the CEO stuff, so. Okay, if you've got any suggestions, if you wanna see a whole video with the ruiner, let me know. Alright, like and subscribe. See ya.